This laboratory, Laboratory 3, is all about introduction to the spectrum analyzer. The setup we will use, again, is a simple one. We will use our arbitrary waveform generator connected to our scope and also connected to the spectrum analyzer. We will utilize a BNCT connector. That is the easiest way to send signals to the scope and to the spectrum analyzer. The frequency of the generator is going to be set at 100 kilohertz. To determine the amplitude, we need to determine what range of power signal will be displayed on the spectrum analyzer. Remember, the spectrum analyzer displays power on the vertical axis in dBm and frequency on the horizontal axis. Okay, so here is the question. We want to display a 100 kilohertz sine wave with a power of minus T and dBm on the spectrum analyzer. The question is, what is the VRMS value for the arbitrary waveform generator? So we start with the power in dBm. Power in dBm equals minus 10 dBm. Let's convert that to a value we're used to for power, which is watts. Minus 10 dBm is equal to 0.1 or 0 0.1 milliwatts. 0 0.1 milliwatts is equal to the volts RMS squared over 50. 50 ohms is the spectrum analyzer impedance. That becomes 5 milli equals VM RMS squared. Square root of 5 milli is 0 0.07, so 70 millivolts RMS. Let's do a quick check on our RMS dBm calculation. Power is equal to VRMS squared over R, which is 70 millivolts, 0.07 squared over 50 ohms. This is, becomes 5 milli over 50, which is 0.1 milliwatt. We know in the calculation of dBm, it is 10 log power over 1 milliwatts. The M in dBm matches up with the M in milliwatts. That will be equal to 10 log 0 0.1 over 1. This becomes 10 log of 0.1. I like to convert my values to uh, 10 to the power, 10 log, 10 to the minus 1. 10 to the minus 1 is 0.1. This allows me to cancel out the log function and the power of 10 leaving me with 10 times minus 1, so just this times the exponent by canceling those out, and that leaves us with minus 10 dBm. So, we have a check. We want a 70 millivolt RMS signal.